Lamar Collins, 1966 here. And today we are back in the kitchen and we are going to be making molasses and salt pork buns. So here in the large bowl, I have a cup, maybe a little bit more of diced salt pork. And as you can see, it's uh, coarsely diced. It's not nothing fancy, um, but growing up, we always uh, had these. Uh, I remember seeing my mom make them and she didn't measure anything. She just kind of, you know, did it out the top of her head and threw it in the bowl. And uh, over the years, I have kind of tweaked it a little bit so that I know the measurements. So I just kind of, you know, a cup, a cup and a half, whatever. I just like when you bite into the bun to get a nice piece of salt pork. Uh, to this, we're going to add three cups of flour a half a cup of brown sugar. We're gonna also throw in a little pinch of salt, uh, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder, some cinnamon, allspice, and cloves. Um, then we're going to add some vanilla and an egg. We're also going to microwave a half a cup of butter, a half a cup of fancy molasses, as well as a half a cup of milk. And we're going to microwave this at 20 second intervals until the butter is melted. Then we're going to add the wet mixture to the dry mixture. And we're going to make sure it's well combined so that there's no flour, uh, no dry flour visible. And then we're going to kind of pat it out, cut out some buns and get them on a cookie sheet. And we'll come back when I get it all put together and see you, show you what it looks like. So stay tuned. Okay, so guys, here you have the finished product, molasses and salt pork buns. Do you see the pieces of pork? Yum, yum, yum. So the way you traditionally serve these uh, would be just to cut them and put some butter on them and have them with a cup of tea. So I'll take this odd one and uh, there you go. See that nice piece of pork you know when you bite into that you get all the salty flavor and the molasses and the spices and it's so so good i'm just going to lay this one here i'm going to have a cup of tea with that so uh, thanks for watching guys another traditional newfoundland recipe and uh, leave your comments hope you enjoy this video if you did you can give it a thumbs up and uh, stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching